There's not enough drip feed content in GTA Online. Let's get into it. In GTA Online, we used to get more frequent updates, so there was always something to look forward to around the corner. However, these days in GTA Online, we only ever get two updates a year. So because of that, Rockstar has started drip feeding content. A lot of people don't like the fact that the drip feed content However, I don't think there's enough of it and it's not just me. Other people I've spoken to would also like more drip feed content. The problem we're having at the minute is that there's not enough content being drip fed into the game to last until the next update. That just makes the game feel dead. There's nothing to log on for. And I get why some people would want all of the content day one of the DLC update. Some people may be looking forward to a car that's not going to come out for about four months. But let's be patient with this. Whether you like it or not, GTA Plus is a thing. So that pretty much makes the game a live service game. We can't keep going for months on end with no content, but yet people are paying for a subscription service. The fact GTA Plus is a thing should mean there's more content. However, since its introduction, we've started getting less content, and that content is lazy content. There's no doubt some of the vehicles we've seen in GTA Online as of later from GTA 6. So any interesting vehicles they've made are clearly being saved for its release. Now I don't know about you but I don't really want cars from GTA 6 in the current GTA Online but that's not really what I'm talking about here. No matter how close we are to GTA 6, GTA Online is a live service game. We need a decent amount of content to keep the game going throughout the year and the content we're getting at the moment is lackluster to say the least. I mean some of the things that we're getting aren't necessarily bad but given the game's current state it's not what we need. Now what content should they be adding in through drip feed? Well with them working on the final bits of GTA 6 I don't expect anything like a KO Perico or a Dime Casino. We just need content added at a steady rate throughout the entirety of the year. And with that way there's always something to look forward to around the corner. Yes I know there's this upcoming clucking bell raid which could be out by the time you're watching this but they need to be adding in more vehicles and now I've given them some good suggestions before in my other videos but just a steady flow of vehicles throughout the year will be suffice for the most part. Now let's go back to the back end of July 2022 where we got the criminal enterprises update. In that update we got 18 vehicles. Now we did get 20 with this most recent GTA Online update but a lot of those vehicles have been in the game for a while just never purchasable and some of the new additions are just updated versions of older cars. Let me just fit this in quick because I think it's criminal that we're about to go into GTA 6 without having the PLP 50 or Reliant Robin. Add them into the game, please, I beg. Anyway, going back to what was talked about, 11 of the vehicles were made purchasable day one compared to just six from the Criminal Enterprises update, leaving less content for drip feed, meaning a bigger dry period for the game until the next update. Now it can't be the hardest thing to add in new vehicles, there's plenty of good law friendly community creations that they could have added in to the game, which I'm sure the creators of those vehicles would have been more than happy to see them in the game. But if they have to make their own, I don't see why we can't get more than what we currently do. Aside from the vehicles, they could do more community events and challenges, we don't see many of them and I think it's a great way to get the community together. For some weird reason, Rockstar only ever seems to do these events in October slash November sort of time when new games are coming out. We need to remember the game is 11 years old this year. People are going to stop playing this game to play other games when new ones come out. They need to stop doing events at that time of year. They really should be doing those events towards the back end of the winter and also spring. That's the back end of summer and awesome for the weirdos out there. They could also go back and add things they never got around to doing such as go-kart races. I don't understand why there isn't a go-kart racing series. I ran a poll one time and 75% of people would like one in the game. A go-kart racing series is something that could be easily done. There's many community creations that they could choose from which have been done to a good level. Let's ignore some of the bad ones I've added with the community jobs, but there's plenty of good ones out there that they could make into an official go-kart racing series. Anyway, hopefully you get what I'm trying to say. With the way that they're currently handling the game, there should be a lot more content to look forward to and not less. That content should be drip fed accordingly to prevent the game from going through dry periods and to keep GTA Plus members happy. Hopefully that's something that changes going forward, but I'm not the most optimistic because I'm not seeing many people in the community have this conversation. I could be wrong however.